So the data we get is raw. Uh, in obviously, initially, the data is acquired with magnetic resonance imaging uh, as a series of zeros and ones, which uh, computer then applies a Fourier transformation to, which generates something like the brain images that people will be used to be seeing in scientific papers or in the media. And uh, that is only, you know, part of the data, really. The, the images themselves need to go undergo a number of stages before we can, or a number of processing stages, I should say, before they can be statistically analysed by group or by individual. Uh, and that slightly differs according to the type of imaging data you're collecting, but in general principles, um, any uh, individual sets of scan from one scanning session, for example, sets of scans from one scanning session in, in a particular person need to be co-registered across time, so in, in the same three-dimensional space for that individual brain. Um, and then they need to be co-registered or uh, normalized is sometimes the way it's called it's described to um, the with reference to an average brain template so that uh, all the individuals of a group for example occupy the same on average three-dimensional space <laughs>